Do you know 1-0 victory at the Oval? Tell us how you, you saw that game. Um, uh, we talked about it in pre-match, Ian, that today was about three points. Um, we knew the conditions were going to play a really a really big part in today's game and it wasn't going to be a day that we were going to be able to get the ball down and stroke it around and um, we just had to literally roll our sleeves up win our individual battles and first ball, second ball, not not ideal but as I say the conditions forced that and I thought we'd done it superbly today. First half we seemed to play into a very strong win but we started very well, maybe could have taken the lead but come in level at the break. Um, second half we, we had the win, did, did the uh, conditions play a factor maybe in how we approached each half or, or the game or, or, or not really? Yeah, hundred percent. Um, we knew that had we played against the wind the first half, it was a matter of making sure we stayed in the game and and, and we had to roll the sleeves up and and, and grind out a, a a result or a performance where we want to look at it. Um, and then second half, once we get through it, we knew we needed to go forward more. We needed to put them under more pressure. We needed to ask more questions. And as I say, I thought we'd done that magnificently. Uh, Lee Bonus with his uh, third goal in as many games obviously got us the point to turn one point into three. <clears throat> yeah, uh, we had another couple of chances. I thought that. Um, we, we, we could have doubled our lead um, but we've, we've talked about this with Lee and Paul and our forward thinking players that when you get to these big games one goal on a lot of occasions separates it um, and we have to make sure that we're clinical and great credit to Lee, I thought he was outstanding. Uh, and at the other end of the pitch, another clean sheet, um, that's three out of the, the, the last four, we're, we're, uh, we're doing really well at that end of the pitch too. Yeah, clean sheets. The, the old saying is that, that the clean sheets keep you in a, a title race and um, that, that's what we need to make sure that, we, that, that we're doing. Um, we, we're, we felt very harshly done by it at Solitude a couple of weeks ago, two deflections and um, I thought we defended magnificently that night as well. Um, but I, I thought today, I thought to a man we were superb. Yeah, I was going to say it's probably a, a similar sort of performance to the one away to Cliftonville but we maybe feel like we got rewards today. Yeah, I... I not, not just I, we felt we were very hard done by our solitude a couple of weeks ago. Um, I thought we played really good football. Uh, we created four or five really, really good chances. We had two goals disallowed that that, that we feel is very questionable. Um, and then we get done by, by two deflections. And I, I think we're probably the only two deflect the only two shots that Klimbal had in the game. Um, but as I say, great credit to the boys today. Um, they bounced back from it and away they went. And we've talked about it before, but you know, coming back from from a defeat like that or a disappointment like that, even when we feel we didn't deserve it, has, has been really important. And you know, that's proven again. We've sort of parked the Cliftonville game. We've come back and, and we've we've won the sort of the next big game that we have, which is obviously today. This team's a different animal. This team has a little bit of everything, in my opinion. They, they have size, the strength, of energy. They can play. They can fight. They they have it all. Um, our big job is getting them to believe that. Our big job is to for them to understand that. That, that we're as good as anybody in the league um, and, and we have to go and show that and we have to believe in ourselves and believe in each other and I have, I have no doubt that, that they can go wherever they want. Michal again played the full 90 minutes today, had a really good game and, and an assist under his belt already. Yeah, he, the kid's a good player, um, he, he, he's athletic and he, he's a great delivery, uh, he's only 20 years of age, he still needs to get fitter, um, I think full time football will make a, a massive, massive difference to him. But, but a kid that just wants to get better and wants to learn. Yeah, Joe Thompson coming off the bench for uh, his debut as well, so both players fitting in nicely. Yeah, Joe has been carrying a wee, a wee calf strain for, for a couple of weeks now at Derry before he got here, and I think he only trained once or twice this week. Uh, we had to be very careful with him, but he, he was determined that he wanted to play some part in the game. Um, and I think you, you've seen yourselves here today, that, that the type of lad that he's going to be. We're going to Tuesday night, uh, obviously into the final and uh, another game against Linfield, a repeat of last year and obviously we would love a repeat of the scoreline last year too. Yeah, I think um, it, it's one of those ones where uh, our third County Antrim Shield final in a row um, and we have to go and enjoy it. Uh, I'm led to believe that it's a full house and uh, from both sides and I think it's, it's all built up for a, for a good atmosphere, two good teams, hopefully both want to play. Um, hopefully they don't have to worry about the wind, they're soggy pitches and and we get a, a good spectacle for the Irish League. Linfield are, are always going to be there, thereabouts, aren't they, whether it's at the League or Cup competitions, but, but we have to believe that we believe at this level, and as you say, with two already behind us under a belt, that, that's going to help that belief as well. Yeah, I, I, if we can just get this team to believe and, 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 and understand that they have no need to fear anybody, they, they just need to, to go and approach every game that that they can win every game, and, and, and they can. Um, I, I don't know where it's a... a Something that, that's in our on our own heads, but every team seems to lift their game when they when they play Larn. Now we seem to be the team that's up there to be shot at, and 
Um, I think that'll be no different than Tuesday night. Great, thank you.